Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx youtube channel and this is Poco XC custom rom and reviews I back with again MIUI based roms because people are uh, intently asking that about regarding these kind of roms you can see this is the MIUI moon edition uh, you can see MIUI global 14.0.1 again with android 12 only you can see here on the screen security patches february 1 which is kind of latest let me turn off this dark mode uh, and the kernel used here 4.14.190 is the kernel used here and this is the typical home screen you get I mean the home screen this is a quick settings panel you get a media player also here in the edit option there are some toggles you can rearrange them one more toggle also you can add from here Currently it's fine but uh, I have noticed a little bit of uh, lag here and there in the way it feels completely fast when I scroll and after a second it will make a little bit jitter or anything like that and one more thing in this ROM is auto brightness calibration is not that great once you reboot your smartphone it will be acting a little bit worse here after a certain time it will again act good there is a problem in automatic uh, brightness toggle it's not uh, that reliable in my opinion now camera applications you get this kind of camera here it's a Leica integrated camera again you get plenty of options here again don't touch this uh, authors and stickers that's not present anywhere all the other things are working fine vlog pro this mode is going to work fine no problem regarding that camera is working when if you want to use any agc camera and arno build camera then you can use that all those links will be given in the telegram channel follow my telegram channel guys and also do check out my community section of this youtube channel itself i'll be posting the firmwares which are firmwares i am using in my current custom roms for poco x i have mentioned there in telegram also in the community section follow the same method you will never face any problem while flashing the custom rom on poco x3 or nfc both the variants it's applicable my variant is indian people ask me a lot i don't know once you follow my video you will be understanding that this is the indian variant with 6000 image battery but i still prefer to flash the global firmware that you need to keep in mind you get this kind of widgets here and icon edit option is also given as you can see you can favorite it out you can even recommend that and if i go into app info i get typical settings here you can disable some of the system maps here also and the animation you have seen here again as you can see animation in the icons are also present in this custom rom now dialer you get this kind of typical mio dialer here direct video call feature is available let's dial and see and as you can see record option is given proper mirror dialer it is and there's the volume panel you get as you can see it's a little bit tiny i really liked it and widgets you get lot more here once you press and hold here you get lot more widgets and even wallpaper selection as you can see here widgets you get all the chinese and other global uh, what i can widgets will be available and if i go into home screen again you get mirror 14 based wallpapers you can see all different type of wallpapers are also pre-included in this rom that's fine and microsoft 365 office is pre-installed here i don't know what's the purpose to add that that's how it is you can uninstall that that's on the proper unimx player and some of the apps are pre-installed here now moving to benchmark results you can see and to benchmark results also you can see the app opening time here you can see three lakh sixty thousand which is quite a good score uh, and temperature raise was 0.4 degrees Celsius and battery drop is 3% during this testing and regarding internet connection I have 100 Mbps plan here fiber connection it's pulling up to 92 95 Mbps which is fine in my opinion carrier aggregation support is there airpiece I haven't faced any problems while making calls and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow that bell notification whenever i upload this kind of videos so you'll get notified and if you like the video give it a like and also share this kind of videos those are having poco x and those who have enthusiast enthusiasts in this kind of custom roms and all share with them and this is the typical 
settings panel it's a little bit monet i mean monet type here you get uh, blue accent colors over the settings panel also and if i go into wallpapers and personalization there is always on display feature also which is working fine library i already shown you these things you get notification effects also you can choose from here which will drain the battery anyhow and sound and vibration you get all the basic settings haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here music management is a little bit newer here that's kind of similar here and display settings again you get light mode dark mode dark mode looks completely dark which is fine in my opinion you get some of the options so you can schedule it out color scheme again you get this kind of options i kept saturated and warm refresh rate you get three options i really liked it at least they should give like this our custom options that's fine and uh, passwords and securities you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock i haven't had face unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock you will get that animation sound and uh, effect but uh, as you can see that's how it is i haven't had any face unlock but it will be quick enough to unlock your smartphone app lock is also given in this room battery you can see balanced performance save battery has been given battery life is also quite good here not so drainy that's what i noticed here and there lag in the usd but i really like the user interface wise uh, the style it is good home screen again you can see a lot more customization available i already explained in this eu rom also similar customization you get here uh, like this ios style of recent apps can be done from this rom Additional settings again similar to any MIUI 14 base room. Memory extension up to 2 GB is given. Floating windows are given. All file access has been given here. LED light, second space, clear speaker, one-handed mode, gesture shortcuts, accessibility menu. Those are working fine, no problem. Region again, you get plenty of regions here. You can see on the screen, all the regions has been included and language and input again. Here also people ask me about that. You can see all the languages are present here. If you can pause and see it. This is the MIUI Moon 14.0.1 again based on Android 12. I really like this home screen customizations and safety net status will be showing you soon. Let's check this. Okay, it get passed. You can use all the payment applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine here no problem and drm information again it will be level one certified only you can see here and one more thing i forget to show this one the cpu throttling test you can see the maximum around 189 and my average was 156 sorry 146 and minimum is 108 here there is throttling going on it's up to 60 percent this time i can believe this results uh, until certain time it will be very good performing this ui after certain time it slowly throttles that i really noticed it according to this app also it is saying the same this is the only problem here and the automatic brightness toggle i mean not the toggle the calibration itself is a little bit difficult in my opinion compared to any other roms on this particular smartphone let's move into games like pubg new state let's see how it handles this game and the game has finally opened because in some of the custom roms the game will not work but that is not the case with this rom i want to show you the graphics as you can see you can keep up to light 90 fps i already kept the same by why it is not taking i don't know okay currently it's in light and 90 fps and this is new map guys lagna i also not tried this game after several time now i am trying this let's see how it handles and volume levels are also fine here i really like the rom but uh, two problems made me to switch to other roms instantly i want to switch it out that's what the problem here they can improve that in the upcoming builds it's kind of miramar in uh, what we see in pubg mobile and bgm is looking similar to that this map lagna let's see and by the way you can comment down below and join my live streams guys i will be making live streams every week and then as you can see there is a frame drop here you can see completely now it's unplayable that's what i noticed in this rom 
what was the problem i don't understand always if i can come back here is that a game problem or a ui problem i don't understand maybe that's the game problem let me know in the comment section if you are also facing the same okay it's now fine i was stuck in the air actually for a long time let's see at least i landed in correct place the graphics and everything is fine just that lag is it a game one or the rom one i don't know if you guys can know let me know in the comment section and if you have any specific questions join live streams i'll be making every week and then if you are interested i can even make weekly two to three times also but if people are not showing that interest there it's all up to you guys is bot let's check him out there is shoulder buttons enabled as you can see you can disable that and you can even set the controls here i think he is real player anyhow i got him uh it's fine the gameplay that's what the intention to make this video actually the gameplay is fine and this pubg new state is running fine actually that's how it is we'll meet you with another interesting video guys it's a very good rom if you want to use it as a daily driver you can have it out but those two problems you need to keep in mind other than that i haven't faced any issue 33 watt charging support is there and you can judge it out there are a lot more mio based roms one of them will be your custom rom then it's up to you you can decide which is suitable to you that's it guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now